Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. We're at the Davy Pal. You're watching True School Sports. The way it's going. Man. Oh, yeah. Coach. Right. Brother, 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 brother. Hey. Now we can invite you to Namibia, please. Don't come and end up in Rwanda only, man. Come to Namibia. Yeah, okay. I, I told you I'd be going over there. Tell us. Yeah. 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 I'll go to Rwanda. Yeah. 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 Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Come to interview for the, for the people in Namibia. Come. <laughs> How was the fight, man? How was the fight? How was the fight? Just be honest, like the fight. It was fight. a good fight. Yeah. It was a good fight. Yeah. He just got to sharpen up his punches. Mm -hmm. Swing too wide. Got to sharpen him up. Straight. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. Thank you. Where the party at? <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, uh, we're going to talk about Julius Ndongo because he recently signed a deal to develop entertainment, and he's going to be taking his career to America as far as fighting here. But he's also it's also been reported that he is moving to America, and not just any place in America. He's moving to where his last opponent that beat him, Terrence Crawford, lives, and that's Omaha, Nebraska. He's moving to Omaha, Nebraska. As you guys saw in the video before, you know, shout out to my main man, Blood Boxing. He had a video where, uh, you know, they, they seem to be very cordial, very nice, have a, very, a genuine respect for each other after their fight. So I'm assuming he's moving out there. And you're gonna probably gonna see Julius Ndongo. I would be led to believe if he's living in Omaha and they fight around the same weight. You know, you probably see Julius Ndongo in camp working with Crawford. So I think this is good, man. Julius Ndongo is taking his career very seriously. He's someone that doesn't have time to play around, doesn't have time to waste. And you know, he's a, he, he showed he was a true warrior. So he's he takes box he takes boxing career very serious with the way he won his world titles, with, with the way he achieved his relevance in boxing. Uh, he did it in a very serious manner, and he's now had now he now has a chance to. You know, come to America and still put his stamp on the division. You know, the 140 is a wide open division. There's there's some talent. Uh, there's a well, I think there's one vacant title left, and the other. You know, nobody's really unbeatable at 140. There really ain't no unbe unbeatable fighter. So I think Julius Ndongo matches up relatively well with everybody in the division. Like, um, he obviously needs to sharpen up on some mechanics, but the guy definitely matches up well. I would say with the other fighters in the division. Um, whether it, he can become a world champion and get one of them straps back, that remains to be seen. But uh, he kind of take uh, like one guy said in the comments uh, of this boxing article, like he's kind of taking a page out of uh, Dennis Andrews' book. If you guys don't remember Dennis Andrews, Dennis Andrews was a uh, he was a light he was a light heavyweight that fought in the like late '80s, early '90s. If you guys remember, he fought um, what's his name? He fought uh, Tommy Hearns in 1987. So he fought Hearns he fought Tommy Hearns in 1987 for a light heavyweight title, lost that fight. Um, and then what wound up happening was he ultimately wound up staying in Detroit and then about what? I'm trying to look, hold on. He, well, so he, he, loses, he loses to Tommy Hearns in 1987. And then in 1990, he becomes WBC light heavyweight champion of the world. So Ndongo is looking to do much of the same uh, and it's funny how history repeats itself in boxing. You know, some things never change. Some things have some things have a funny way of repeating themselves. But yeah, he's taking his career very seriously. Moving to Omaha, Nebraska. Him, his trainer. This is something they were they were talking about before the Crawford fight. And I guess now they got a guy named Michael Carter, um, who's an Omaha, Nebraska resident, and that's um, Indongo's new manager. So that's the news, man. Julius Indongo has fully uh, relocated to America. Uh, not just with his promotional situation, but with also his lit with his living situation and now working here. Um, and Dango will be out here. So, you know, big shout out to Julius and Dango. I wish you nothing but the best. You know, he's came up the hard way, coming from a country like Namibia to America. And um, I wish you nothing but the best, man. So, yeah, let, let, let me know what you guys think. Julius and Dango fully relocates to America, living in Omaha, Nebraska. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from being here. So, until next time. Take care, guys.